Oh, ho, ho. hey guys, how's it going? This is Prophet, and uh, in this video, Black Ops 6, man, doesn't look very good. You know, I'm giving my first impressions now without playing the game, it's dangerous. And uh, definitely tomorrow, when the beta comes out, when I actually wake up and I've had a coffee, I will play. And then I'll give like my first gameplay impressions, but right now, doesn't look good. Black Ops 6 does not look good. The graphics look terrible. The spawns look terrible. The skill-based matchmaking looks sweaty as fuck. And this game, everything I've been saying about this game is literally coming true. And how can it not? The game literally shows its flaws right before anyone plays it. Literally. You already know, because it's using the same engine as Modern Warfare, that the game is going to have the same cheats. People are already cheating. People are getting falsely banned for cheating when they actually aren't cheating. And the SBMM, Nero Cinema did a video on it. The game is sweaty as fuck. And then the people who are bad, you know, they're just having fun. They're having fun in the game. You know, they're literally missing their shots. They can't tell who's an enemy and who's real. It's hilarious watching these people, watching that video that Nero did, watching all those bots just walk past him like he's on their team. He must have that double agent perk or something, so that helps it even more. The bad players just can't tell who's an enemy. It's hilarious. And then he goes back into his lobbies. It's a sweat fest. Everyone's playing for a million dollars. CDL finals would really... They're just these dweebs who bought the game and hope that it's a different experience unless they like really like the game i just don't get it i don't understand this modern age call of duty audience and i don't understand these content creators either like i did a video a few months ago now where people literally the content being made these days in my opinion is absolute brain rot like it's the same hype content that they make every time. Like, YouTubers, and I, I don't want to call people out, but Avoid Dalton is trying to make a positive video on Black Ops 6. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Let me show you this kid's uh, last eight videos. So, Black Ops 6, I use a sniper to spread positivity. Dude uses a, reuses the same thumbnails every video. It's just, just his picture with a, a reload animation or something. Next video, the biggest problems of Black Ops 6 before. Like, frowny face. It gets more views because people want this game to suck. People want this game to not succeed. I played the Black Ops 6 beta for the first time and I'm warm inside. 800 views. And... Oh my god. I clicked... I clicked on this guy's video by accident and... I'll, I'll play the clip. Don't sue me, bro. I'm just... Oh my god, yes! It's finally here! Oh, it's so beautiful! Yo, what's... This is constructive criticism. Dude literally, literally has an orgasm... About how excited he is to play this game. And then... Black Ops gameplay looks ridiculous. I went back to Modern Warfare 2 2009. X Defiant is still leaking everywhere. And Black Ops 6 Zombies looks incredible. Even Zombies is doomed. Like, people uh, have no faith in the Zombies mode. Regardless, guys, I think the Zombies mode will be just fine. It'll be better than the multiplayer. Zombies in campaign will be fine. Guaranteed. There's no doubt. It doesn't matter what you zombies fanboys think to the average zombies player, the person who doesn't play it hardcore, doesn't buy zombies every freaking Treyarch year just to play zombies. And if you're buying COD just for one mode, you're wasting your money, but you do you. Either way, content creators like this guy and all these other movement gods and sweat lords and like negative content creators who are just COD haters making their videos, they're getting exactly what they wanted. They're getting 
a Treyarch game that is finally going to be bad on release. It's going to be universally accepted as a bad game. Cold War, you know, you had people who absolutely love that game. And for the record, guys, I've said this numerous times, I didn't, like, totally hate Cold War. I just didn't like it as much as some of you guys did who deep throat that game because it didn't work for me all the time. Where in MW 2019, Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2, MW 3, no issues with matchmaking, aside from sweaty as fuck lobbies, no issues. No issues getting into Australian servers, no issues, doesn't matter what game mode I was playing, Modern Warfare 2019, any game mode, any time of the day that I wanted to play, I could do it because that game's matchmaking, at least server-wise, worked. And I want to leave it at that, though. But yeah, uh, until next time, stay metal and beware of false prophets. Peace.